Hi, welcome back. <clears throat> this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. Good to have you back with me. It is time to work some more on our collage. It's dried quite well and our dragonfly is beautiful. Absolutely. Um, I need to cut this antenna down a little bit. Of course, this is where we get into trouble, isn't it? But I'll try to be very careful. But like I said before, if I chop it off... But I didn't. But had I have chopped it off, we would just... Um, um, put wire on it. So here it is. Sorry, it's kind of, you can't see, see all the iridescence on it, but it is there. And on the tail, we do have some sparklies from that. Um, <clears throat> from the, uh, whatever you call it, stickles, glitter gel, the dark matter. So that is kind of cool looking. Now, to finish his tail up, I want to put some of these little sparkles on him. And I think we're going to go clear over here and pick some of these. I think this is the one. Yes, that's them. So one, two, three, four, five, six that we need. The other thing we could do is just put, um, most of these are green in here so I have to pick and choose. Oops. Might not be able to get out the ones I want. There's only a few of those really nice sparkly ones left. The other thing we could use would be the stickles. Uh, um, you know, whatever you call them. <laughs> you know. Oh, that did not work well, did it? <laughs> oh dear. Just a second. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. Let's get these put away. They're so tiny I wouldn't want the cat or the dog to get any. Okay. Um, you know, this kind of stuff. The Nouveau drops or the uh, these. Like the frosted lace. Or what's the other one I like to use? Um, Stardust. This is a very nice one. I love Stardust. So we could use that. Let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. Um, not on the critter, but let's, let's put it on here. So we could do that, or we could do this. Oh, I like the jewel. Okay, jewel it is. Whoops, I think it just went down my sleeve. <laughs> Oopsie. But boy, that's pretty. Especially when you move it around like that. Oh. Well, we're just going to put some of that on this tail then. Right down here. Oh, that's pretty, you guys. Very pretty. That really sparkles him up. Very nice. Okay, well, we might go about doing that, too. The Stardust is very pretty.
Boy, that sparkles him up. Wowie. It just mixes right in good with the other stickles. Except for I'm just pressing it down. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh my goodness, you guys. I wish you could see this. Come on over. Come and play. Oh my goodness. How beautiful is that? Oh my goodness. That is really something. And I think maybe We'll just put it right on here for his antennas. There. Oh, very pretty. Okay. I don't want to throw that paper away because it has some good stuff on it. It's very pretty with the sparkles in it too. Okay, so there's that part. Now, we want to put this down. And we are going to use, I think maybe we'll try this. Need my little, let me get rid of this water. And I'll get rid of some of this other stuff real quick that I know I don't need. So we didn't need any of our paints because we used ink. So I'll put those over there and get them off the table. Oh, it doesn't help if you try to spill your paint over. Okay, got those out of the way. Now, what was I uh, thinking about? Any idea? Hmm. Oh. I remember now. Looking for this little jewel sticker thing. Because I'm hoping it will pick those up. Yes, it does. That's what we want. Let me put my needle up there. Oops. <laughs> I cut. I have a lot of stuff on my desk. So, let's see. So let's go up here towards the top and we'll work our way back down. Okay. So we have one. Oops, it's not coming off very good. It's 
sticking to the glue that's still um, dried around the top. So let's get that off my fingers. A little bit right there. Unfortunately, this glue doesn't just stick right to the that little piece. Just see if I can pull it off to the side a little bit. Oops. Sometimes it picks them up, sometimes it doesn't. like one here whoops trying to throw them all over the place Looks like there's just one here. Oops, I can see there's something stuck on there. There we go. Now I need three more. Oh goodness, I hope I have three more. There's one. I gotta do that dump thing again. I wonder if this is it. Let me see. Oh, it is. Isn't it the same? Yeah, it's the same. Okay. They're so hard to turn back over. And it's not like your fingers just want to pick them up. Well, I'm going to have to do it. Nope. <laughs> that one's stuck in there wrong. Get off me. It's stuck to my finger. Oh. Okay, one. Two.
of the three away. And this one that was being naughty, we'll put it in there too. Okay, I'm going to put those away. Okay, so there's our beautiful dragonfly. We'll let him dry. I wonder if I should put one there. Kind of looks like it needs one there, doesn't it? Like maybe there was two there. Yeah, I think so. I think I need at least one there. We'll bring out two just in case. Oops, let me clean the tip off here. It looks like there was two there. One, two. finger a little bit wet. It works pretty good. Just getting your finger a little bit wet. That's okay. It doesn't matter that it's three one one three two. Okay, so that's going to need to dry. Okay, well let's go back to uh, this idea. Now I have another one of these. It's a little larger. What did I do with it? I think this is what I'm afraid it is. This one. I think maybe I will cut this out and it will become the big focus point. Now in order to use that we are going to have to put it on something a little more solid so that it will pop up off the surface a little bit but not as much as this is going to pop up off the surface which is only a pop dot or two, if we can get them that size. So that was my thought there, is that but first we have to cut it out and see if it will even work, right? Okay, I'm back. I had to just clean up a little bit. It was just too much and I knew you didn't want to join me for that. So. Anyway, where have we gone? We have done our dragonfly and now we want to cut this out because it's much larger than this one. If we should add it to a piece of paper, but I, maybe we won't need to. Although it could do this, we may want to put some white, some of the white napkins on the back of it to kind of so that it, it stays as a pop out and not a 
I want to bring it clear down. Sorry. Here we go. Let's do it this way <laughs> so you can see what I'm up to because I tend to start working closer to my body as I need more, uh, more vision. I need a vision. There, let me bring you down a little bit. It helps me to kind of look at it at a distance. Yeah, I like it because it comes up around that butterfly and um, it kind of works in around it. Now, going to pull these lilacs out this one like this We'll bring them in right about here. Or should we put them back here a little ways? Not there. Do we want them over the edge like that? No, I don't think so. I mean, if this went clear over there. No. Those lilacs have to come close to the edge. Kind of be up by that butterfly. And then I think maybe those need to be right in there. And then... So this really just turned out to be mostly a collage, didn't it? But that was the intention anyway, was to make a collage. 
you know, I thought maybe I would use more um, more in different pieces in it than I did. Okay, I think this one might be like this. And This one maybe maybe this Maybe there. Maybe this one needs to come up here. Okay. What do you think? Looks like a mess. Well, I'm going to go with it. Because it's going to drive me crazy not to have something in the corner. I think it'll be okay. I wonder if I'm going to need to tone it down under there with a little gesso or something, a white background, like more napkins. I mean, the napkins are, are standing out really good, and some of the um, rice paper is standing out good. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We could ruin it. So, what the heck? guess the way to find out what this is going to do is to take this little pink one right here and put it on here and we'll see what it does. Okay, I'll be back in just a minute and we'll see what that pink one does. If it disappears, then we know we need to either paint something on the back of this, like put a little bit of gesso on it maybe. That might work. I might have to rub it in with my finger a little bit. Before I let you go, let's try it. Hi! Angela here and we are back. Our dragonfly is dry and looks absolutely beautiful. And uh, you don't know it but I'm, I deleted a whole bunch of video after the dragonfly because everything went wrong. 
I had paint explode. My dog came in and she saw that there was napkins and paper all over the floor. And she just went crazy. She bowled right under my desk and nearly knocked me off my chair. And oh my gosh, everything, everything. Um, about half a dozen things went wacko in the course of a half an hour. <laughs> it just wasn't worth keeping it. So, um, I'm starting this over and I cleaned up. I was cleaning up and you guys were helping me, but now you don't know that. So you don't have to be exhausted. It's okay. So, um, I have, I, we, when you were with me before, we tried some fake flowers on here, some 3D style, you know, and they just did not look right. So, um, I don't know what else we did uh, after the dragonfly. We may have put some more things in here. I, I really don't remember. Um, everything just went wacko on me. So, here's what we're doing. I cut out some pieces to put on here. However, I took one little shard that I had and I laid it in here and I just sewed it down. I wanted to see if it would just keep disappearing into the same piece and it did. So then I took this piece here which is off of the stuff that I want to put down here and I painted the back of it with gesso. Now it pops out. So that's what we're going to do right now is paint the back of the piece I have with gesso. Okay? And then we're going to come back while that's drying and finish up our edges here a little bit with some flowers or napkins or something. Words, I you know, it doesn't matter, but um, probably we'll save this area because some of the flowers I have are going to come over this edge. So here is some of the pieces I have right here and they're curling because they're wet and the gesso does go through them just a little bit. I hope not too much. Um, so, let's take another one of these. I don't want to lay this other one right in paint, but this is the one I have right here. So, this coat of gesso has to be very light on here or it does absorb through. So, the way that I've been doing that is to dip my finger in and do a little tiny piece at a time as quickly as I can and as thinly as I can. I didn't want to use a brush because I knew I would be too heavy handed with it. And then we'll go around the edges with something a little darker, probably ink again. And um, so that it, it does kind of stand out even more. Now what this gesso is doing is not allowing the Mod Podge to penetrate um, from one side to the other. It's just gluing it down is what's happening. I hope. I hope it is. <laughs> if not, then we'll have to use a different glue to put them down. Oh! Little Rose, you get back over there. So anyway, <laughs> some days, it's so funny, but some days you can come in the art room and everything goes just 
grand, you know it? And then other days it's like, oh my gosh, I should have never walked through the door. I'm trying not to get that underneath there. But you can see that it does happen. That's why I have to keep grabbing new pieces of paper because I keep moving it. So I'm going to start with the center part here. I feel like I've got a cat hair in my eye. I can't imagine where that would come from. Can you? getting somewhere. If I turn it over it'll be solid white. <laughs> ah, that'd be my luck today. I knew if I did it with a brush that I'd get way too much paint on it and then it would absorb right to the front. I mean, it is, I am going to get some paint on it. right there. that dry and then we'll apply it. Ah, there. I don't think it will take them forever to dry, but it could. <laughs> Would take forever. They could be really hard to lay down. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. The one back there is sticking. Oh, I got something in my eye. Okay, so let's put this over here and let it dry. And I hope they dry well. If they don't, well, we'll think of something else. Oh, there's another one. And let's move Mr. Dragonfly so I don't get paint on him. Okay. Now, we really need to finish up the sides. Because they need it. And we've got some that's on the back here that needs to be either cut away or 
like this. Okay, now there's another one. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can collage the whole back if you want. I just like to make it look um, well finished around, especially the edges. Now the top, I think, is probably fine. You're not going to see the top of it. It's going to be hanging on your wall. Yeah, that piece dried and it is good. That worked out well. I'm very pleased with that. So, let's see. We're going to collage around this sides. Here's my little bag of napkins that I was missing last time. I guess we could have a piece of a bird right there. No problem with that, I don't suppose. Let's just use what we can. Try to fit them in with what we already have here. I don't want to put all glue around the edges. Don't mind putting it up towards the top where it's more like sky. Like here, like this. I mean, the blue is good for the very top, too. And I don't mind some of it coming up over the edge. Oops. Let's see. There's a bunny. We don't want to put a bunny on there. But I am going to put this one right down here because it's a perfect fit there. been wrong about that. <laughs> that napkin wants to just come apart. See? So I'll go ahead and let it come apart there. Let me find 
and some other pieces. that we were using. Okay, here's a flower, a couple flowers. Can bring that down here. The bottom. Come on. Don't get fussy on me. Hair coming out of that brush. I see that okay. That blue napkin. It's a naughty one. Okay. We'll get there. Might be because I'm moving it around on the desktop. Don't really know yet. You know, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. It's, it really is totally up to you. It's just to try and finish off the edges a little bit. I need to wait until I get that other piece on there. My goodness, that blue nap, guys. A fall of her kind.
Okay. So we'll wait till this is all dry and then we'll go and do the this back part if you like. Um, let's have a look at the pieces over here and see if they're dry. Yep, they're pretty good. Okay, so the way I had this going was, looks like it shrank now, um, sort of like this. I wanted these to be down along here. And I want this to come up in here somewhere. Perhaps right in there. Um, I have this one tucking itself in here. And this was coming over it. And oh, that white one really absorbed it, didn't it? We'll just put the white one back underneath. So that is pretty much what I did. So we'll put that over that white one, I guess. Let's start with this white one right here. And let's go ahead and glue it down. around these edges. We do want them to be defined a little bit, but I don't know if the black is the color. I think it probably will be so it will look shadowed. I do have to say the ink comes off your hands pretty good if your fingers are pre-glued. Pre, pre, uh, <laughs> uh, Mod Podged. The Mod Podge, um, kept the ink on top of it. And then, uh, Right about there. So this one is going to go right in there. Okay. Is this the one I just blackened up? No, it was that one. So what I need to do is leave this one up a little bit down here and I will start gluing in the top here. Until I get to about here then this purple flower, work, oh right here, will get tucked in. See if we can do this. Okay. 
Oh, I didn't gesso around it. I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't uh, ink around it. And I think we need to. I think I have enough gesso to protect me from this ink. <laughs> I think I'm going to be inked up for the rest of the next week. Maybe till Easter. Okay, it won't be till Easter. Maybe till Thanksgiving. It's going to be a toughie to get down. Sorry if I'm off camera. Let's push that out. I'm so sorry. There. Hi. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's been a day trying to figure this out. I think I'd have it all down pat by now, but you come in here with ideas and then you get working on them and you forget everything else. Okay, good enough, good enough. Okay, we'll go right about there. Dang, I'm covering up a pretty stamp. I might have to put that one back in.
down the wall. No, I don't think I just darkened that one. Darn it. Well, I can go back and get it with the... some ink or something where we're missing spots. This one, kind of like this. Probably thinking, how can she get so messy? Well, pretty easy. Pretty easy for me to do that. <laughs> I'm pretty good at it. Okay, there is that part. Now, I really messed that up by not um, putting the ink around the edges, so I need to think about how I'm going to take care of that. And.
So we're going to let this dry and I will come back and we will apply the dragonfly. So if you're crafting along with me you'll need to get some little pop dots or something to put under the little foam ones and we're going to cut those and if that doesn't work then we will just cut some little um, chipboard pieces and we're going to figure this out because I should have inked it and I didn't and I think it's too late to ink it now now Yeah, it just won't ink up with that right there. So, oh, I know. I know. That's that. Where'd it go? Let's try this. Otherwise, we have pens that'll work. That does not work very well. But um, I may have a thin pen that I can use that will work after things are dry. And this may work better after things are dry too. Right now it's just wet. So it's not working very well. but it definitely needs to be shadowed in there. Like this black is there. That looks pretty good. But it doesn't want to do it right yet. And really a fine line pen might work better. going to be okay. We might have to put some little yellow flowers on there or paint them yellow. Here's a yellow flower we could use. Yeah, I think it's going well. Can't wait to put the dragonfly on. That's last. Unfortunately, we have to wait till the end. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you go. And I will be back. Either connected to this video or disconnected from this video. But I'll just go ahead and say goodbye for right now. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.